Police surveillance isn't just about solving crime. It can be used to protect us from ourselves. And judging by some of the scary scenes you're about to see, you can see why. West Barnes, London, and the British Transport Police are laying a trap. Specially designed, this van is rigged with nine separate cameras. At the moment, all are trained on this busy level crossing, watching and waiting. Why? Well, here's why. Level crossing lunacy is a constant problem in the UK. There are about 7,000 crossings in the country and some people would rather risk their lives than wait. Like this smartly dressed chap coming up, who obviously feels those flashing red lights and barriers don't apply to him. Well, if he can, I can, a young man reckons, but he hasn't looked properly. the U. He's literally millimetres from death, so close that train connects with trainer and actually wrenches it off his foot. That man is 20-year-old Craig Grant. I felt something hit me on like, my ankle and the pain just was like astronomical. The pain was just rushing through my body like pins and needles. And then like within seconds, my ankle had just swollen up. When I had gone to the hospital, I'd broken a bone in my heel. You've got the geezer here, just walking casually across, and then obviously in a minute you see me coming. But obviously I have my headphones in, so I didn't hear nothing. And then I just looked slightly and I see the train. I just made a dart for it forward. Yeah, it makes my mum feel sick every time I show it or she sees it. Every year, around 10 people are killed on level crossings. PC Chris Shepherd knows exactly the type of people who play Russian roulette with their lives in this way, and the truth is close to home. It's sort of Mr. Average, Mrs. Average, your general law-abiding, decent person that would normally never, ever interact with the police before. is the sort of person, actually, who commits the offences at level crossings. We've found that it's quite often females aged 45 plus can be one of our worst offending groups. About 92% of them live within three or four miles of the level crossing, so actually they've sort of got this inherent sort of belief that they know how the level crossing operates. It's safe the way they do it. It isn't. When train connects with car at speed, the consequences are devastating. In 2004, in Berkshire, a train hit a car on a level crossing. The resulting impact killed not only the car driver, but the train driver and five passengers. So, although most of us get frustrated by the lights at times, cheating them like this is an offence. And having seen the carnage caused, Chris and the British Transport Police want to get tough on the level crossing leapers for their own sake. Even let's say that person jumps the lights and doesn't get killed by some small miracle, they're going to have to live with the fact they've potentially derailed a train, they've ruined people on the train's lives and so forth. That's why Chris, a former electrical engineer, helped Network Rail with the design of this high-tech multi-camera van. And that's why he and his fellow officers are waiting just down from this level crossing. The best way to stop people is to catch them red-handed. And it's not long before a car goes for it. What do you think I pulled you over for? When, uh, red lights. Yeah. I thought it was amber. When I, but when it was I red. Crossed over, it was amber. Well, come and have a look and I'll show you the video. Step out the vehicle. Can we play the video back of that one? There's no getting out of that one. Let's pop out your car. Have you got your driver's license with you today? Yes. I've got a question I'm going to ask you now, OK? Yes. You committed an offence which you can put £60 and three points on your driver's license, OK? However, at this time, I am able to offer you the driver retraining course, all right? The offer is refused. I'll just take the points and fine. Is there any reason why you don't want to take the course? Because I don't think I'd learn anything from it. Why don't you think you'd learn anything from the course? I just don't want to spend my time doing that. I don't need 
you've obviously made a minor transgression at this stage, okay? Yeah, a minor transgression. But unfortunately, what you have to realise is there's major implications to your actions. You know, there's trains coming through at 70 miles an hour with 1,500 passengers on. And what they need people to do is to comply with the red traffic signals, and it's a safe road and rail network. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good day. None of them realise that a train can take 20 football pitches to stop. Train drivers, they hit that emergency brake and it's that horrible sense of inevitability they get that it's not going to stop. And they just think, I'm going to kill that person. Some of them don't ever recover from it. What do you think I pulled you over for, buddy? What do you think I pulled you over for? Yeah. But I won't pull you over. Red light. Red light, red light. Can we come and watch the video? Yeah. Red light's on. Fair enough. Yep. You can't argue with a camera. And they'll deny it, and then they'll get really angry about it, and then they'll accept what they've done, and they go, actually, what I did was really bad. We just really want people just to get on board with us and start using these crossings safely. So, always best to stay on the right side of the tracks. Join us next time when the police and the public will catch more criminals red-handed.